Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube segment. I'm going to be giving you my uh, coronavirus update for January 20th, uh, 2021. Now, uh, the thing about this is first, I want to give an update according to worldometers.info. Uh, uh, coronavirus cases as of this last updated on January, um, January 20th. Let's see, at 245 p.m. GMT, nearly 97 million uh, coronavirus cases worldwide, um, 2 million 68,974 deaths, but over 69 million recovered. And the thing about this is, what it, I'm not saying people are completely oblivious to this, but what's not emphasized enough are the recoveries in connection with the coronavirus. So I think that is still uh, important. And the thing about it is we have current cases that are active, according to worldometers.info, 25 uh, million um, at this, uh, at this about approximately 25 million cases at this time. And the, the ones, I think it's interesting, they have the breakdown on this uh, website for mild and, and serious or critical. Mild conditions, a little over 25 million, but the serious uh, or critical conditions they have at 112,000 roughly. So it's not, you know, relative to the serious that's rel uh, conditions that are relative to the, the um, the mild is obviously there's a big disparity. There's not really that many that are serious by um, by percentage. It reads 0.4 percent of these uh, current uh, confirmed coronavirus cases that are serious or critical. I admit I'm I'm a little confused over the data and the numbers that I see online because you'll see you know well actually somebody I you know. A uh, friend of mine on Facebook will, will post things like, well, there's 90, it's like a 99.7 recovery rate. But when I look, uh, you know, at the cases and the confirmed cases and the, and the people that are dying, it looks like the recovery, recovery, the recovery rate would be less, would actually be uh, less, you know, a small, you know, smaller percentage than that. But this is something that is very convoluted and it's got all kinds of, you know, statistical data and numbers. So it's not always easy, you know, to process everything on this 100%, I don't think. But what I want to go to is the coronavirus in, uh, as far as the United States, according to the New York Times.com uh, website on the coronavirus, uh, last updated January 20th, 2021, 7.56 a.m., uh, we, we've surpassed uh, 24 million um, confirmed cases in the United States. Um, yesterday, on the 19th of January, we had about 185. Well, we had uh, we had 185,070 confirmed cases. Deaths, um, 2,770. So I was talking yesterday and boasting a little bit about how we have the numbers. It looked like the numbers were starting to dramatically go down. And yesterday, um, you know, as far as the total that reflected the 18th of January, it was like 140, uh, 140 something thousand, you know, cases. I thought, okay, this is going to start to drop. Then what do you know? Now, um, as far as the 19th of January goes, it's reported, you know, nearly 186,000 confirmed um I'm sorry, about 100, approximately 185,000 confirmed cases. I think my theory on this is what happens is when a lot of us, you know, Americans, we see the uh, we see the data and we see the numbers going down tremendously. We start to become complacent, and then before you know, it, the next day, it, the number is higher as far as confirmed cases for the next day. Of the coronavirus COVID-19, so we get the strong fluctuation because of that, I believe. And uh, and you've had um, and the, what the total for the hot says hospitalized says 123,820. Um, so I don't know. It says flat is what it reads next to that. So, uh, but anyway, there is um. The next thing I want to talk about, though, is that uh, for those of you that 
may not know, a lot of you may know, is that of course it's all it's imperative to look for symptoms you know, that may be connected with the coronavirus and COVID-19. I mean, if you're feeling lethargic or tired, a sore throat, even body aches, I would say in general, can be a sign. And the thing about it too is, I think a lot of people, you know, they'll, they'll get something and there'll be you know, some symptom and they'll think it might be something else. They're giving themselves a misdiagnosis, like if they're feeling tired or fatigued or lethargic, they might think, oh, I've just been a little run down. I haven't slept that much lately. Uh, maybe I have chronic fatigue syndrome, sorry, syndrome, and I'll get it diagnosed at the doctor then my next appointment. But if you even have any remote signs of this, my my suggestion and advice would be to get it checked just to be safe. Uh, then sorry. So anyway, uh, and uh, you know you could have like coughing and breathing inhibited. There's so many other symptoms, I and mean, you can confirm online and, and check that out if you haven't done so uh, already. Now, something else I wanted to get at with this coronavirus is that. Uh, okay, some of the other symptoms I'm seeing now are, you know, congestion or runny nose, uh, diarrhea, or feeling nauseous. Uh, there are a number of things that are, you know, obviously, that could be symptoms for this, and I'm looking right now on this. And as far as uh, this goes, it's something where we obviously, we can't take this too lightly. And there's obviously strains that are... Uh, that are going on uh, with this, so there are variants of this coronavirus, so I guess that's like a mutation of the coronavirus, and I encourage people to keep, you know, make sure they're taking their precautions, they're wearing the mask, and, uh, you know, using the hand sanitizer. I don't know, as far as like antibacterial soap is what I've been using, I would think that would give you, you know, as far as you know, eradicating most of the germs, at least on, on the hands, or you know, as far as the effectiveness uh, of it. And but uh, anyway, and again, as I was uh, stating, I believe it was in yesterday's report, we do have you know, the Pfizer uh, vaccine, Moderna, and you know, with the two combined, it's about 94 to 95 percent uh, effective. But we do have, I mean, people, uh, there, there's obviously going to be, I'm sure, some side adverse side effects for some people uh, with it. They were investigating some, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was something in, uh, you know, California with some kind of side effects. And there was like people, was it in, I think it was in Norway, they said that they had died shortly after getting the injection. That was the report anyway, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was in... Uh, Norway, and then there was something in California. Was it like allergic reaction or something to to this? There were some people that had been reported getting that. Um, so there's obviously there's a lot of material online you could assimilate and absorb regarding uh, this information. And uh, what I thought was really I'm uh, seeing something on here on NPR uh, website. Looks like there were 400 lights in honor of the 400,000 that died, um, it was at Lincoln Memorial, it was honoring, I guess it was for every 400 lights, I guess it's for every thousand, each light is illuminated for every thousand, I guess, uh, people that died to honor them, it's like eulogizing those people, so it's good that, you know, these people, you know, that they do, people do remember these people that didn't have to die because of this, and and that they are being honored and uh, remembered. It's like being gone, but surely uh, not forgotten. So, anyway, people, that'll conclude uh, this YouTube segment for my uh, January 20th, 2021 coronavirus COVID-19 update. Until next time, people, everyone is saying stay well.